Hey, it's Tesla Canuck. This is part two of the efficiency test that I conducted yesterday. Uh, the first part of the test was to do a stone cold battery, engage the efficiency and range loss of the Tesla Model Y with the heat pump. And this second part uh, today, which was actually filmed yesterday, is with a warm battery. Now, interesting, I'm gonna give it, give it away a little bit here, but at the end of the video, you'll see that the test lab app reports a very different number in terms of the uh, watt hour kilometer efficiency and if you go by the number that the tesla is actually providing then it suggests a range loss of about 9.1 percent and if i'm right then tesla has achieved something really remarkable here with cold weather efficiency if there's any mathematicians out there, like people who are better at math than I am and can prove me wrong, I will give the variables in a pinned uh, comment. And uh, I mean, I'd be happily proved wrong because if I am right, like I said, then this is a, an incredible thing that Tesla has achieved. Anyhow, here's the warm uh, battery video. Hope you like it. The second part of the test is now with a warm battery. I mean, it's by no means fully warmed up. Uh, it's probably about in between, maybe about half warmed up. Uh, I do notice that I have quite a bit more regen as I pulled in uh, to this parking lot after the first part of the test. So let's get started and uh, we'll do another 50 kilometer loop and see what happens with a warm battery. <laughs> It just, um, I mean, it goes without saying, but I'm going to try to duplicate the best I can uh, the method that I used during the first part of the test with the cold battery. So that means I'm going to try to maintain about 10% over the speed limit, try to mimic real, wor uh, real world. Why can't I say that? It's like a tongue twister or something. <laughs> as best as I can uh, versus trying to baby it and to you know hyper mile or something like that so uh, this is going to be as real world as possible and again i'll only chime in if um if i have something to say if i have nothing to say then it'll just be set to again some music and i'll put those chapters in hopefully you enjoy Past this guy, or is he's gonna screw up my trip? Got a bolt EV going way under the speed limit. It's probably struggling for range, but <laughs> don't want to screw up my test. So it probably already screwed up my test because I had to pass him. But um, yeah, what are you gonna do, right? <laughs> Um, it's going to screw up my test, so I've got to pass. 
So it's two cars now that I've had to pass uh, on the warm battery test. I didn't have to pass any on the cold battery test. Obviously these things are going to have a bit of an impact. Use um, a little bit of energy to pass uh, like that on a two lane road. But yeah, just going way under the speed limit. I don't understand. Okay, um, that was the warm battery test. So 185 watt hour kilometer, uh, nine kilowatt hours of energy used. So that's one kilowatt hour better, um, and that's 10 watt hour kilometer better. But let's take a look at the Teslab app. Okay. Let's take a look here. So our efficiency improved by uh, two percentage points, so from 72 to 74, and uh, the battery never really got fully warmed. You, I don't know if you can see, but there's still, uh, maybe it's two thirds warm. So a warm battery, I think, did impact the better range. The average temperature minus two, where it was minus one, on the first go around according to the Teslab app. So I would say overall that the heat pump has made a difference in these temperatures. I think with a fully warmed up battery you would get even better results than I did today. And also too I just want to stress once again that I did not try to drive for efficiency. My goal was to make it real world so 10% over the speed limit and in fact, uh, I had to pass a couple vehicles on the warm battery test. So that probably impacted efficiency a little bit as well. All in all, I'm pretty pleased. And uh, I can tell you that based on my Model 3, I believe that the heat pump has made uh, quite a difference in, in the range and efficiency of the vehicle. So hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, click that like um, button and, you know, thumbs up or whatever it is and uh, subscribe thank you again for watching tesla connect over and out